The Recon Chat headset is currently the cheapest Turtle Beach headset that you can buy. At $19.95, it's even cheaper than Microsoft's own first-party chat communicator. But does that mean that you should buy one? Before we draw any conclusions about this little headset, it's probably important to discuss some of its features. First, it's reversible. On a stereo headset, it matters which side is left and right because that coordinates to what direction sounds are coming from in the game. But this is used exclusively for chat, so that doesn't really matter. With that in mind, you can put the headset on your head in a traditional manner with the microphone and cord on the left side, or just by simply changing the direction of the microphone, you can put it on the other side as well if that's more comfortable for you. It also has inline audio adjustments located a convenient distance from the headset itself. It has mute and unmute, and also a volume knob that goes all the way down so you can completely mute the headset if you so desire. It also has an open back design which lets outside noise in. And this is actually really important for a chat communicator because if you think about it, you're only hearing chat through the headset. You're not hearing in-game audio. That means your TV or your sound bar or your speakers or your surround sound system, that's where you're going to hear the audio from the game. You don't want a headset that's going to block you off from that because this is not providing the audio, it's only providing chat. With that in mind, it's open back design but also has these openings in the sides that really doesn't muffle any sound at all. So that's something it does very well, it does better than the Microsoft headset, is it doesn't muffle any, back, any surrounding noise whatsoever, which again for a chat headset is pretty important. Also, Microsoft's headset uses a proprietary ending to the cable. It will only fit into one of the Xbox controllers. You can't use it for literally anything else. The Recon Chat headset, however, ends in a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is pretty universal. For example, you can simply plug this cable into your phone For example, you can simply plug this into your phone and use it as a headset for calls. I mean, you would look a little bit ridiculous, but you could. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, what do you need? What about now? Does it sound better or worse? A little bit worse. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to prove a point. All right, thank you. I know what you're probably thinking. Wait a second. Doesn't the Xbox come with a chat headset? Why, why would I buy a chat headset if the Xbox comes with one? Well, it actually doesn't anymore, but you're not crazy for thinking that. My Xbox, for example, came with one, but around the time the release of the Xbox One S, all the controllers started offering a 3.5 millimeter jack alongside their more proprietary port. So now you can use basically any headset you want because the 3.5 millimeter jack is pretty universal. In this example, I'm using the Apple ear pods, but that's only because they're the only headphones I currently have. These won't actually work with the Xbox controller because the sequence of rings on the connector, the 3.5 millimeter connector, are in a different order than most headphones are. So you can't actually use this as a microphone, but you can use these to hear in-game audio. If you want to use a mic, it will still work, you just have to use headphones other than the ones provided by Apple. You simply plug it into the controller and you're ready to go. And not only does this provide chat, give you a decent quality microphone, but it also plays in-game audio through the headphones itself. So it actually performs better than the chat headset. But this is more of a direct comparison between this headset and the one that came with the Xbox. Even on their website, it specifically states that you should really only be getting this to replace a broken or missing headset. So the question then arises, is this actually any better than the one that came with your Xbox? Objectively, yes, yes it is. As I mentioned, the Microsoft headset is proprietary and there's no way to remove that. So you can literally only use it for gaming. You can't do anything else with it. I mean, it's not super practical to walk around with this to take phone calls, but I mean, the option's at least there. But what about the audio quality? Isn't audio quality important? Well, the audio quality is better, yes, but is it important? No. The purpose behind a chat headset is very different than the purpose behind a stereo headset. A stereo headset, you're specifically listening for noises and cues that the game is giving you to give you better positional awareness and to give you an edge in game. So even a slight difference in audio quality could make a really big difference on your performance in game. This, however, is used 
kind of like a phone. You're simply relaying information. So as long as it's not absolutely atrocious and you can't understand, then it really doesn't matter how good the audio quality is, you're only using it to communicate. I can understand people just fine using this, I can understand people just fine using the EarPods, and I can understand people just fine using the Microsoft headset. So is the quality better? Yes, but it, that doesn't really matter with a chat headset. There are some things, however, that I don't necessarily like about this headset. First of all, it's not particularly comfortable. Now it does have foam padding in the places where it matters, but it's not really enough. This headset really squeezes your head now I could attribute this to the fact that it's brand new and with wearing it in a little bit, uh, that'll probably release a little bit more and not be so tight. Um, even just kind of flexing it open seems to make a significant difference. So that's not a huge deal. The padding is there, but you're definitely not gonna be very comfortable for the first few times wearing it. Also, the mute button is very hard to switch. You really can't do it with just a finger. You have to get your nail under there to really move it. And honestly, when you're playing a game and you're trying to quickly mute or unmute yourself, you don't have time to be looking down at it to try to be messing with it and get your finger in the right position. You want it to be relatively easy to do because then it's pulling you out of the game and you're having to fiddle with this thing. I understand this is on the budget end of things, but I think they could have implemented this better without making it any more expensive. In conclusion, I can't complain too much about a product that costs less than $20. Let's be honest, you get what you pay for, and I understand that. This is definitely far on the budget end of headsets, and there's going to be some compromises involved. That's understandable. However, I still can't recommend this headset unless you meet a very, very specific scenario. The first scenario would be if your chat headset now is broken or your Xbox never came with one, then that might be a reason to get one. If you already have a working chat headset, this is not good enough, not that much better that it's worth the upgrade. I'd, I'd save up longer and then get an actual stereo headset than replace your current chat headset with this one. The second scenario is if your $20 budget for headsets is absolutely 100% non-negotiable. Because if you can spend an extra $10 give yourself a $30 budget instead of a $20 budget, you actually open yourself up to a number of decent stereo headsets. I reviewed one recently for PC, you know, it's not gonna work on Xbox, but you can easily find Xbox headsets that will actually work pretty well. I would do yourself a favor, just save up an extra 10 bucks, get yourself a stereo headset, because even the best chat headset still won't give you as good of an experience as a budget stereo headset. And finally, I can't recommend this headset unless your budget is 100% non-negotiable, you don't have a chat headset laying around, and, I mean, I don't know if there's anyone out there that fits this, but no one has a set of these laying around. I mean, if you have a microphone in it, that works. And if I'm on a strict budget, the most important thing to me is just being able to communicate with my teammates. I definitely recommend using one of these as opposed to like the Kinect, for example. That's a really awful experience. I wouldn't recommend that for anyone. You know, spend 20 bucks, get yourself a chat headset, but really, if you can spend just 10 more, then spend a little bit more on one that will also provide audio for your game. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. You can find out where to purchase this headset, as well as other headsets that I've reviewed recently down in the video description. Go ahead and check out these other videos that we've done recently on other product reviews, and also subscribe so you know when future videos drop. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.